Did you know that credit cards have become an integral part of American society with more active credit card accounts than there are people? However, along with their convenience comes the risk of credit card debt, which has surged by 52% since 2000, resulting in a staggering national debt of over $1 trillion. In this video, we will delve into the world of credit cards, exploring their functioning, different ways to use them, the reasons behind their popularity, their history, the psychology of spending, and the shared responsibility for credit card debt. Understanding Credit Cards Credit cards operate differently from debit cards by allowing users to borrow money from the card issuer. This borrowed sum needs to be repaid with delayed payments incurring higher costs. While concerns exist about accumulating credit card debt, Many credit card users treat them responsibly, spending only money they have or will have by the due date. 3 Ways to Use Credit Cards We'll meet Gary, who exemplifies different approaches to credit card usage. Gary pays $700 for a new TV using his credit card. He faces three options, paying the full amount by the due date, paying the minimum and incurring interest, or neglecting payment and facing interest and late fees. The financially optimal choice is to pay the full amount by the due date. But many users find themselves in situations where they incur interest or late fees. Why use credit cards? Credit cards offer advantages over cash or debit cards. Responsible users can build a credit score which leads to favorable long terms reduced insurance premiums, and better cell phone plans. Additionally, credit cards provide perks such as cashback rewards for travel, dining, and accommodations. However, the wisest credit card users clear their balances each month to avoid falling into debt. The History of Credit Cards Credit cards trace their roots back to 1949 when Diners Club was founded. It allowed charges for dining, hotels, and gas. Over time, public sentiment towards banks soared, driven by the belief that they influence spending behaviors. Minors are encouraged to join their parents' credit card accounts to establish credit scores early. However, a credit score of zero can hinder access to loans, reinforcing the stereotype of banks exploiting consumers. The Psychology of Spending The concept of the pain of paying explains how different payment methods impact spending behavior. Cash transactions evoke a sense of loss, leading to cautious spending. Debit card transactions lessen the sensation. Credit card purchases further disconnect spending from payment, resulting in increased spending compared to cash transactions. Despite awareness of potential debt, customers are drawn to credit cards allure contributing to rising credit card balances. Shared Responsibility The trillion-dollar national credit card debt cannot be solely attributed to banks. Consumers also play a role. Credit card companies employ psychological tactics to encourage overspending, enticing users with low minimum payments and profiting from interest income. This symbiotic relationship, combined with a tendency to overlook the pain of spending, contributes to debt accumulation. Discipline is crucial when using credit cards to build credit scores and changing our perception of credit card debt as an investment in financial freedom is essential.